Hey everybody. Today I want to shoot a video talking about UV sterilization in our fish tanks. Uh, a lot of you know that I've been shooting a video series recently about my Sun Sun canister filter and the damage that I got in the filter from the UV sterilizer. So I've got a lot of questions ranging everything from like why do we use a sterilizer, what effect does it have, how often should I run it, that sort of thing. So this video is just going to be a general discussion about UV sterilization and when to use it and why and what it does and so on and so forth. So first of all, what the actual UV radiation does and how it affects the uh, organisms in your tank is that it's a very high energy radiation and when it passes through cells it damages DNA and it is a repairable damage but it leaves behind what you could think of as scar tissue in the DNA so if enough of these breaks occur and enough of these repairs occur there will actually be too much missing information too much damage done I, you could think of it as pages being torn out of a recipe and therefore if there's enough damage done that cell will die or what more than likely happens is that cell simply cannot reproduce. There's not enough intact genetic material to produce an intact copy of the cell. And so whenever that cell dies off, it's just done and it doesn't reproduce. Either way, uh, that's what the UV is doing in your tank. So if you've got single-celled organism, like let's say uh, algae, in your tank and in fact the reason I got my very first UV sterilizer was for this tank uh, once upon a time I had green water in here and it was just waterborne algae and I could not get it out no matter how many water changes I did no matter how much hydrogen peroxide I used I could not get the water to not be green and so I bought an internal UV sterilizer and began you know doing a few other things feeding the tank less and so on and so forth and it cleared my tank right up so I wound up getting a few other internal UV filters for a couple other tanks that I began having issues with with alg algal growth and, and green water but that's just the thing it's got to be the green water uh, if you look at this tank for example this is my native tank and it's got tons of algae growing on the glass and, and, and the rocks and the woodwork. So the UV sterilizer in there is not doing anything to this algae. It's only waterborne um, microbes or, or waterborne life that is in the uh, water column. It goes past your UV sterilizer and that is what kills it so this algae on the glass is not having you know it's not being impacted by the UV sterilizer at all so when do we use the UV sterilizer well I always just sort of ran them all the time when I wound up buying my first Sun Sun filter it was this 304B the one that most people are familiar with and it has a UV sterilizer on it and so I simply turned it on and left it on and the way I viewed it was like putting chlorine in a pool you know you don't wait until you have uh, green water and mosquito larvae swimming around in it before you put chlorine in it you put chlorine in it to prevent that from happening you don't want there to be a buildup of algae or uh, other microbial life or anything else so keeping the chlorine in there all the time prevents anything like that from ever happening and I looked at the UV as being the same way why wait until I have an issue I'll just run the UV it's a few more extra watts on my electricity bill each month and I will know that I've always got a nice clean tank because in, in addition to the algae it will kill bacterial growth any kind of fungus that might go through there any sort of single-celled organism and that includes parasites so why not run it all the time once I found out that the Sun Sun filter, you know, it is a bargain brand filter, it's a low budget filter, and the result is the UV radiation actually wound up destroying the UV shield inside the filter. And then, of course, the UV light was flooding the inside of the filter, and that's not good. I had to do some repair work and replace the filter, so on and so forth. So I have learned not to use the UV all the time. 
What I would recommend, if you're the kind of person that remembers things, then you can maybe turn it on for a day or two in the weekend, uh, turn it on for a couple of hours each night and turn it back off. If I did that, I would invariably forget I turned it on at one point and I would just have my UV filters on again. So what I'm doing is leaving them off, because you don't really need them. If there's no reason to run them, then you, you don't need anything. If I run the UV in this tank at the moment, it wouldn't be accomplishing anything. You know, there, there's nothing in the water that I need to be killing. So the UV light is just in there on, and it's not actually doing anything. It wouldn't be until some sort of microbial life went through the filter, then I would have a use for the UV. So if the water started turning green or clouding up, um, if I had an ick outbreak or if I had some sort of parasites in the tank, I would then start using the UV filter again um, in addition to other treatments as well, but the UV filter would certainly help. Another way you can use it. Take this tank for example. When I'm in here wiping this glass down, if I were leaving the tank full or even if I was draining it, you know, doing a water change while I was cleaning the glass, I would definitely leave the filter on and leave the UV running while I was doing it because of all of the algae you're going to knock loose and it's going to be swirling around in the water column. It might not be waterborne in the sense that it would continue living there like green water. That's, that's something a little different. But while it's swirling around and it's suspended in the water, it's certainly going to get picked up by your filter and run past that UV. So that will help kill it. A tank like this that I've talked about before where I'm going to have a lot of new fish coming in all the time and they're not going to be quarantined. They're just going to simply come from the wild and they're going to be put into this tank. So the chances of me bringing in fluke worms or some other sort of parasite uh, or something into this tank is not unlikely at all. So in this case, in this tank, I'm going to run the filter continually, the UV sterilizer uh, continually. And of course, I mentioned before, this tank actually has a Sunsun 404B filter. And for whatever reason, there is no off switch. You have to physically take the UV tube out if you don't want it to be in there uh, running. There is no way to turn the switch off and uh, turn the light off. So that's the long and short of UV. It's very, very effective when you use it for something. But if you've got a nice, clear, clean tank, this tank, for example, for me to run a UV filter in here right now would be doing nothing but wasting electricity and wearing out the tube. The tubes do need to be replaced uh, periodically, depending on how much they're used. But if you're just letting your UV tube run all the time, you'll need to replace it every so often and it's not actually doing anything so take that for what you want whether you feel that you need to get a UV filter uh, or use one or whatever if you're not having issues in the tank and you don't have any parasites you don't have any bacterial blooms you don't have green water with algae then there really is no need for the UV filter that only works if there's something there to kill it's not just this sort of water clarifier it doesn't make your water nice and clear it the only purpose it serves is it kills things that are in the water it doesn't clarify the water so i hope that helped thanks for watching make sure you're subscribed uh, out of all the tanks i've got this one is my gudgeon tank that's him right there dead center staring at us with the big open mouth thanks again for watching i'll see you real soon in the next one